There are some people that think psychology shouldn't have any relevance to an algo trader. After all, once you've got your algo trading the markets for you, why should it? Algos don't feel or get affected by any kinds of emotion. And I'd agree that the influences of psychology on the shorter term day-to-day -day behavior of algo traders is certainly less than it is for discretionary traders. However, I'm a firm believer that there are some really important influences that do come from psychological biases that do still play a major part in determining if an algo trader will become successful or not in the longer term. I also believe that as algo traders, if we recognize these, we can actually turn them to our advantage and expedite our progress to becoming more successful traders. So to hear my thoughts on how we can do this, then stay tuned. As I said in the introduction, I'm a very firm believer in the fact that psychological biases can and do have a major impact on algo traders as well as discretionary traders. But I think that the influences are different for the two types of trader. For discretionary traders, two of the most common influences that are most often discussed, as I'm sure you're already aware, are focused around fear and greed. And these can have a profound impact. So when things are not going so well, fear kicks in. And when this happens, it can cause all kinds of irrational behavior to occur on the part of the trader. But when things are going well, how does that make you feel? You feel like you're going to conquer the trading market, right? And with this often comes greed, which can lead to over leveraging, and in turn, this can potentially lead to disastrous consequences. But what about algo traders? I already said that I think the psychological influences here are quite different. Sure, there are still the emotions of fear and greed there in the background, but I think that these are much easier to control. In other words, protect yourself from acting irrationally when they do occur by locking those rules into your algos and letting them get on with their job. But for algo traders, I think there's a different psychology that comes into play. And I think it's useful to illustrate this with the use of two very simple but effective psychological models. And it's these that I'm going to be concentrating on today. The first of these models is called the Dunning-Kruger effect. And this gets its name from the two social psychologists that first researched it and put a model around it, David Dunning and Justin Kruger. Now this model is based on a cognitive bias where anyone that's inexperienced in a particular field or with a particular task greatly overestimates their own abilities. And so this model is extremely applicable to all of us in those early stages of exploring what it is to be an algo trader. But as I talk you through this, you'll also see that it's applicable throughout the lifetime of an algo trader as they become more and more successful. So let's take a closer look now at how this is directly applicable to algo traders. Along the x-axis, we have the experience of the trader. So as an algo trader becomes more experienced, they travel from left to right. And on the y-axis, we have the confidence of that algo trader. So when a person is first exposed to the concept of algo trading, they start out at the origin at the bottom left. So here they have zero experience, it's just a term they've heard of, and of course because of that they also have no confidence of whether they can actually be successful in this or not. And at this stage, the person will typically be asking questions like, what is systematic or algorithmic trading? But with a little background reading and exploration of the concepts of algo trading, the person begins to move to the right as they gain a little bit of experience. 
But what the Dunning-Kruger effect explains is that when someone gets this small amount of experience, their confidence immediately and significantly increases. Now, ironically, this occurs because the person does have a lack of experience in this particular field. And because of that, it means that they also have an inability to recognize their own lack of experience and ability in that field. And this causes them to massively overestimate their own capabilities. And so at this stage, this person is thinking things like systematic trading, algorithmic trading. This looks fairly easy. I think I'm going to make my fortune out of this. But the Dunning-Kruger model says that the confidence that this person is experiencing right now is based on a psychological phenomenon of illusionary superiority. And because of this, this is a really dangerous time for this person on their journey of algo trading. And it's so dangerous because often algo traders jump in to the market, they'll buy an expert advisor, and assume that they can set that off and make a lot of money. But the reality, of course, soon hits home. And what the Dunning-Kruger model tells us happens next is as that person gains some more experience, and often at this point it's a bad experience of losing money, their confidence immediately falls. So although that experience has been extremely valuable, and has helped to move this person along their journey to becoming a successful algo trader, they now find themselves with a completely different mindset. And of course, one of the things that they now understand is that there's a lot more to algo trading than they'd originally thought. And fairly quickly, they will be coming to the conclusion that actually algo trading isn't simple, it's actually quite difficult. And so with their confidence now at rock bottom, there's one of two things that can happen. Very often these new algo traders will decide that actually this is not for me, or if they're committed to making this work, then they realize there's actually going to be quite a lot of hard work ahead of them. So at this stage, the really sensible thing to do is to stop trading and to invest your time instead into learning. And hopefully at this point, they'll make the decision to invest some of their money in some quality books or maybe to get some training. And as they do that and they dedicate time to this, their experience will begin to increase, their knowledge and their skill sets will get better, and they'll start to move further along this curve. And if they're really committed to this, they'll eventually get to a point where everything starts to make sense. And with that, of course, confidence begins to increase. Now there's a statement I've made a few times in the past where I've said that the more you understand about algo trading, the more there is you realize you still have to learn. And I still very much hold by that statement. And one of the downsides of that realization is that it sometimes feels like there's a mountain ahead of you. And I'll be completely truthful with you that sometimes that mountain in front of you is a very, very daunting thing. And again, psychologically speaking, this can have a major impact on the psyche of an individual trader. And for this particular emotion, I have a second model that I like to refer to. And I'll be covering this in the second part of the video. And so to find out about that, click top left now to go to the next part.